Hello guys, welcome once more to Celeb Gossip where we bring to you your favorite celebrity news. If it's your first time here, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thanks. Johnny Depp was one of the main celebrants as his close friend Shane McGowan was cremated this afternoon. The Hollywood star was among a handful of the Pogues singer's inner circle to bid him a final farewell after his funeral mass yesterday which was watched live on television around the world and around 1,500 inside the church service tonight. Shane's ashes were placed in the River Shannon. Johnny was in state mourning until the early hours of the morning at the modest thatched cottage pub on Valley Common with about 250 of the mourners. A source said, Johnny has shown his love for Shane throughout his time in Ireland. His respect for Shane was there for all to see. In the aftermath, he spoke to everyone who approached him. But he didn't get up and sing with a Celtic band. Victoria is not surprised by the way Johnny is handling things because she knows all about the affection he has for her husband. The final act in Shane's funeral took place at Shannon Crematorium, which is described as having been laid out in a quiet setting. His wicker coffin was carried to his final resting place by undertakers from J.J. Ryan's funerals owned by Shane's close friend Philly Ryan. Mr. Ryan oversaw the proceedings as the coffin was taken to the crematorium chapel and also drove the hearse. Depp had an emotional moment when he touched the coffin of his friend and Pogue's lead singer, Shane McGowan. McGowan, who died last week after a battle with pneumonia, was best known for the Christmas classic The Fairy Tale of New York, which is expected to reach number one in the charts this season. The Irish singer was released from hospital more than a week ago after. She is undergoing treatment for viral encephalitis, a condition in which swelling of the brain develops. His funeral was held yesterday, December 8th, on what would have been Sinead O'Connor's 57th birthday. The Mass at St. Mary of the Rosary Church in Nina, County Tipperary, was attended by a large number of celebrities such as Nick Cave, Bob Geldof, and Deb. Depp was joined by Hot House Flowers frontman Liam Oman Lai as they said the prayers of the faithful during the service. The Pirates of the Caribbean star previously attended McGowan's wedding to Victoria Marie Clark. McGowan's coffin was brought to the front of the church draped in a tricolor Irish flag and placed near a large black and white photo of the Pogues singer. Dip was seen patting the coffin to bid farewell to his old friend in an emotional scene. Later, a group of men, including Dip, helped carry McGowan's coffin out of service to loud applause. Miss Clark presented tokens of her late husband during the funeral mass, which included a copy of the album by Johnny Depp, who she described as a huge fan of the Pogues singer. She also said that her late husband would never hold a grudge against anyone while speaking to the packed crowds at his funeral. Speaking to Hollywood actor Depp, she added, I hope you don't mind before telling mourners how her late husband urged him to forgive her. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Johnny, but when Johnny had a court case involving his ex-wife Amber, Shane had a long conversation with you, didn't he, and urged you to forgive Amber, Ms. Clark said. He thought it was the best thing to do, because he genuinely believed in tolerance. And I'm sure you've done it by now, of course you have. Of course you do. Amber Heard has been embroiled in a series of violent lawsuits that she and Depp launched after their 15-month marriage turned into a morass of allegations of mutual abuse. Depp and his ex-wife eventually settled their defamation claims against each other in December after five years of intense legal battles. Mrs. Clark was filmed crying and feeling sad before the coffin was brought into the church. In her tribute, she said his death surprised us all as everyone thought he would come home. More than 30,000 people lined the streets and there was nowhere to stand except for the service. Police closed off large areas of South Dublin to allow crowds to pay their respects to the star as his coffin passed through the city. Former Sinn Féin leader Jerry Adams gave an opening speech at the funeral where he praised McGowan's genius and said his music would live forever. His words were met with applause and some cheers from the audience. Sheen began his journey in a horse-drawn carriage from South Lotus Road and traveled via Pierce Street to Westland Row, giving fans who loved him dearly the opportunity to say their final farewell. 
mourners applauded as the funeral procession passed McMahon Bridge in Dublin, with fairy tale of New York and a rainy night in Soho blaring from a loudspeaker in tribute to the fallen musician. Members of the public threw flowers and musicians played a pair of brown eyes as the funeral procession passed Sweeney's Pharmacy in central Dublin, which featured in James Joyce's novel Ulysses. Outside Sweeney's Pharmacy in central Dublin, she led a group of mourning musicians in a somber rendition of Boggs's Christmas classic fairy tale of New York. Mourners, many of whom carried pictures of Shane McGowan, sang Dirty Old Town after his funeral procession through the streets of Dublin. At one point, the funeral procession paused on Westland Row while Arton's band played his Christmas hit fairy tale of New York.